Welcome to another Spreadsheeters video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spreadsheeters website. In this video, we'll see how to create a printable form in Excel. Excel is well suited to creating different kinds of templates. Any kind of template that has a table such as a list or a tracker or a schedule can easily be created in Excel. In Excel, you can create these either to be used as soft copies or to be used as hard copies which means you can take a printout of the uh, template and then use it. When you design a form or uh, any kind of template as for use as a soft copy, you can introduce certain elements of uh, automation, such as drop-down lists and uh, <coughs> uh, other uh, actions like that. But when you're going to uh, design it for a printout, which is going to be used as a hard copy, you have to make sure there's only static information. So let's see how to uh, do this. Here I have a blank Excel worksheet. Now since I have to take a printout of this, I first have to change the page layout to make sure that it fits within a printed page. So I go to page layout, go to size, and I'll select A4 because that is the size of sheet I'm going to print it on. When I do that, you can see that these faint dotted lines appear which indicate the page break and that is an indicator to me uh, both the right side and at the bottom of the page. So the next thing I will do is I want to remove the grid lines uh, so that it makes it easier for me to visualize the form. So I've removed the grid lines. Now I'm left with a blank uh, space in which I can create the form. I can now proceed to enter the information on the form. I have already done this in another sample. So let's take a look at that. So here I have entered a form for the uh, customer survey and created fields for name, address, and then the list of questions along with the responses. Now you have to keep in mind that this is going to be a printout. So it has to be something that uh, people will be able to fill in in ink and uh, be able to tick. Uh, so I won't use things such as um, radio buttons here which are used only in forms for which, which are intended to be used as soft copies. So once this is done I can format it, I can change the color of the font, I can introduce certain elements again keeping in mind whether it's going to be a color printout or a black and white printout. And the other thing I will do is like uh, here I have merged a number of cells together because for name I want to provide more information. So this I did by going on home on the home menu selecting the merge option. So I select the cells and merge them. I can also select cells across columns and across rows to provide more space for the user to enter details. So once this is done I will look at the print preview. I'll take a printout so go to file and say print and check the preview. So in the preview this looks fine, it's fit within one page. Since I already set the page size at the beginning, I was able to accommodate the text within that page. So now that this, now that this looks fine, I can then take a printout and use the form. So this is how to create a printable form in Excel. Please read the appended article for further guidance. 